Okay guys, so this looks a lot better. The back camera seems to work a lot better than the front camera. Um, so this is the Sharp XE206 that we just got in. As you can see, it's got some, you know, stickers here and here and here um, that we, we're gonna go ahead and take off. Uh, this is the dual screen I was telling you guys about. You got the screen in the front, the screen in the back. This one actually twists and then it goes down so that the customer can see it on the back end. And if there's any issues, then you can lift it up, twist it, and see it on your end. But when you get these, I'm trying to get out of the little glare there. When you get these cash registers like this with the dual screen, uh, if you're at the Goodwill or the pawn shop, make sure that comes up. You hear a little click. It doesn't pull up anymore. It's supposed to twist all the way around about yay so that you can see it and compare the numbers. And they also twist the other way just about yay. Again, so you can see the numbers. So let's plug this in and see if she works. Oh, actually, it's already plugged in. So this comes with two keys so far. It looks like it's the manager key and the operator key. I don't see a key for the cash register, which is a bummer. So I might have to pay for that, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on as operator. That's regular right there. Okay, this turned on, that turned on. That's a great sign. So now we're going to test it. Remember, you want to test all the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that works perfect here, perfect there. They're in sync. We're going to clear that. We're going to go nine, nine, test the two zeros, and then test the zero, zero, zero. That works perfect as well. So now let's try a... a a transaction to see if everything inside the drawer is supposed to be there which is the coin collector and of course the the bill hopper and everything so let's just do anything 12 plus uh, subtotal all right it came out which is nice but if you notice the coin was got a lot of dust on it see that it's been sitting for a while so we're gonna clean this up really nice but the coin collector is missing from this one. So we're gonna check if our Royale one fits here, whichever sells first. If not, we're gonna have to purchase that. That's gonna run us about maybe 20 bucks or so for the Sharp. Uh, maybe $15 if I get it on eBay. But uh, that's not a big deal. Let's test these, make sure they stay up. Good spring action. Yep, good spring action, so that's good. Uh, so the only thing so far, that's not that's missing so we're gonna have to replace this and replace the key because I think that's gonna be worth it for this cash register let's close that up now it's got a little marking here as well looks like it's scratched so I'll try to maybe put some black ink on here all the way across so it kind of matches but if it looks kind of funky I might just leave it that way we'll see what happens but in the meantime I'm gonna clean all that up uh, another thing I noticed is that when I hit the numbers, did anybody notice something's missing? What's missing? Did you see cash register 102? This is cash register training, well, 101. This is cash register training 102. What's missing? What's not happening right now that's supposed to be happening? Anybody? Can you guess? Can you guess? Nobody? Okay, what's happening, in case you didn't guess it, the paper is not moving, right? We don't hear the, the tick, 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 tick. Where's my receipt? So let me know what's going on here. So we're going to check something really fast, which I already see it. Whoever programmed this to work didn't want to use the paper for whatever reason. So if you notice right up here, with this one, it says receipt off. The little light is on. So that's telling me that whoever programmed this, programmed it so that the paper doesn't work. But let's use the up button here and see if that goes up. Oh, let's take some out. Go ahead and get rid of that so we can tell. I'm going to go up. Can you see that? Okay, so that works. So it could be that they just turned it off for whatever reason. Let's take a look in here, see if there's uh, how much paper is left in there. We'll pop this open like that and just bring it back. There's a good amount of paper in there. Um, as you can see, it's, it's missing the, the wheel that goes from here to there, the guide wheel. 
uh, supposed to sit right here to hold the paper down, but it works fine without it, so that's fine. Just like on the other cash register, you can see back here is the little battery compartment. Lift that up, and we should be able to see three AA batteries. And that holds the memory for the transaction for this machine. So that looks good. Um, okay, so we're going to check that later on before I list it, if, after I clean it up and stuff to make sure that that works once we program it to work again. But so far, very happy with this. We'll do a quick side look. I don't see any big damage. There's like a little scratch here and little scratches over here. We'll see if we can get some of that off. But other than that, I mean, it's a used cash register, right? So we knew that coming in. So that's not a big deal. Um, so I'm gonna check right now on eBay and Amazon, see this, see how much this thing is worth, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, here we are on eBay. We're gonna see how much that Sharp is worth. So let's check it out. It is a Sharp XE-A206. And let's see what eBay says for a used one. This is what I do beforehand when I'm looking for a uh, cash register. I try to see what I can find ahead of time and see what's close to it at least. Here's a 406 used going for 150 But I'm more interested in what's sold. So I'm going to click on sold items over here in the corner. And then here, here we go. Sharp XCA206 electronic cash register. This is the exact cash register that I showed you guys. This is the one I have. Sold for $149 with $40 shipping. I guarantee it didn't cost $40 to ship this thing. It doesn't really weigh that much. It's probably going to cost maybe half of that. So he kept another 20 bucks in his pocket. So he probably walked away with, uh, let's say it's $149. eBay is going to take 10%, about 15 bucks. So, so the fee that eBay is going to take, he just added it to the shipping, which was smart. So this is what he actually probably put in his pocket. So if I were to sell mine for $149, because this is the exact same one, um, and I paid $20 for it, I'd make about $129, $125 profit. And that's why I love cash registers. Uh, here's another one that's in the box right here. It's going for a hundred dollars, but then he then he charged sixty-two dollars shipping. So the total was one sixty-two, and compared to the total here was one eighty-nine. It's only a twenty-dollar difference. Uh, and he just recently sold that one. That was last week or about a week and a half ago. Again, the same exact one that I have is the XEA two hundred six Small Business Cash Management Cash Register. Here's another guy here who sold one here as is. Probably didn't even test it for a hundred bucks. Parts only though, so that's the difference uh, between this one and that one. This one actually works. This one is only parts. Now I have a choice. I can sell it for parts only, knowing that it works, or I can put just a little bit more money, maybe put another twenty dollars into it and sell it between one eighty and one sixty two knowing that it's going to sell. Today is September 11th. This sold three days ago for $149.95 and $40 shipping, so $189. So if I can change $40, even $50, and change that into $189, I would gladly, gladly do that every day and twice on Sundays. As my father likes to say. Now this one looks very good. It's in good condition. I'm going to get mine looking as good as this one guaranteed. Let's go ahead and click on that listing. Because that listing is interesting to me. Especially since it just sold a couple of days ago. Let's see what he has to say here. Pre-owned. Good condition. There are scratches and scuff marks. Missing one clear plastic cover. Included the unit and keys. No manual. No software. See software, uh, see photos for details. So he had just the unit alone with the keys. I have the keys. I don't have the keys for the drawer. I don't know if he has that. I think he does because he had three keys showing. So even if I just want to get that key for the drawer, 
you know, it's going to run me, like I said, 10, 15 bucks. Not a big deal. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to get the key. I'm going to get the coin slot. That's going to run me probably 20 bucks. So that's another $25 on top of the 20 I put into it. I'm looking at about $45, maybe $50 that I'm going to put into this unit. But I would gladly pay $50 in order to sell this one for $149 like he did with $40 shipping. Now what you can do is that we're going to go back up here. I'm going to click right here where it says see original listing because I want to see his pictures. You can tell he's got a nice picture going right there. Even though it says the listing has ended, we're going to go to the bottom here. Just go to the bottom of the page. And here's your original listing. You can see he's got a very nice picture, very nice background. He's got it in a white box. Um, he turned it on, which is beautiful. That looks very, very nice. Whoops, get that out of the way here. Let's go ahead and click on the picture so we can see it up. That's what you want to do when you're taking pictures of anything. You want to make sure that it's turned on so people can see that it works. He used every single number the way I showed you in video one and video two of cash register training, which this is video two. Uh, if you don't have yet, if you have not seen video one, I'm going to link it up here on top. Uh, it should be coming up up here soon for you guys. So you can check out Cash Register 101. But he put numbers from 1 through 9. That was great. He did a side view. It looks very nice, very shiny. I'm going to go ahead and the back view looks very good as well. Another side view. He did the back of it, which looks very nice. Uh, just in case you, you guys are not aware, if you don't have the key and you can't open it for some reason, every cash register has this little slot right here. This is the emergency slot to open up the cash drawer. You would just hit this little knob right here and then the cash drawer will open up. So that's the back way to get into your cash drawer in case you can't get into it. Check out his pictures. It looks very nice. He's got it in the off position. Looks good. See, he's showing that the paper works. There it is. We're going to get ours working like that just as well. All the numbers look very good, very clean. Again, another picture very clean. So this guy did, and that's the very last picture of it. This guy did a great job in listing it, taking the pictures. Uh, it looks very nice. He's got all the keys right there. These are the two manager keys, and here's the key for the cash drawer right here. Um, so it's got that looking very sharp. And this is a XZA206. And I told you guys, this thing runs for over 100 bucks on, on eBay alone. This guy sold it for $149, $40 shipping. And most likely, I'm just going to piggyback off of him, do the same thing. Maybe $149.95 with $40 shipping. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of days. If it doesn't sell, I'll drop it by five bucks. But I think this is gonna go because the Sharp XC206, uh, it's a very popular cash register on eBay. Uh, let's see what he put. And you notice down here in his description, he didn't he didn't put anything. He just put the cash register. Please check out our store for make for more great deals. The end. And he sold it. So that was great. Um, good for him or her, whoever the seller is. A great job on the pictures for sure, and I think that's how he sold it because the pictures are just great. But let's go over, let's go ahead and copy this real fast. Now, this is how you get fast money, you know, here on eBay. But if you're an Amazon seller, this is we're here on Amazon. We'll check out the Amazon pricing as well. We'll do a quick search for it. And if you go on eBay, you're going to notice this is for a used, a used one. If you were to find a brand new one in the box, you probably get double the amount. So keep that in mind. This is for a used cash register, just like the one I have. Let's go back to Amazon. All right, here's one on Amazon. It's going for $175, one used offer only. Uh, let's see if there's anything on the bottom here for the 206. I don't see anything, so we're going to go up here. Now, Amazon is going to give you. Um, Again, uh, one person selling it for 206 so then you know there's a newer model as well for 207 but uh, this one's selling 24 customer reviews you add a zero to the end that's what usually I do so 240 sales on here uh, I mean for the fees that Amazon is gonna take from you I myself I am gonna put this on eBay because I think uh, it's gonna sell faster on eBay than it will on here I mean, it's $175 with $16. 
and 49 cent shipping. But uh, the fees on here are so much higher, in my opinion. You're, you're probably better off selling this on eBay. It's got a very nice picture here, uh, which looks nice, but that looks like a new, you know, brand new, excuse me, brand new out of the box. And I think he's selling this. Oh, he's selling as used, even though it looks like a new picture right there. And because ours has scratches and stuff, I don't want to put it as used. Somebody gets it. They complain. You know, it's really not worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it here on eBay. We're back on the eBay one here. Um, again, because I, I like his picture. I could piggyback off of him. And I know, right? That's the main thing. I already know I can sell it on here for $149.95 and $40 shipping. And someone's going to buy it. So that's why I love doing cash registers. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're going to try to make as more of these as we can as we get cash registers in. We have uh, one more coming, I believe. It should be here by the end of the week on top of a camera that's coming in that we can test out and see as well. But um, yeah, I hope this helped you. If you weren't thinking about cash registers, maybe I just gave you something extra to think about. So again, give me a thumbs up. And um, this is not me here. This is just some other guy who did a great job <laughs> selling his cash register. Uh, but maybe you want to take a look at his store. Maybe he's got other ideas for you guys to um, to uh, uh, sell. So until next time, in between time, what I'm going to do um, probably in the beginning of this video is that I am going to go ahead and take a picture, a before picture of what the cash register looks like right now. And I'll take an after picture of what it looks like when we're about to sell it and then i'll upload it for you guys okay so i hope you guys enjoy this and we will see you on the next video keep listing this is josie from chicago